At some point of our life, we've been victims to credit card interest, and this ends now. Hey everyone, it's me Tamar Aziz. Let's explore how this credit card interest is calculated to make sure that you never have to pay this again. You can use your credit card in a lot of different ways and each of them have their own interest rates. For example, there are regular purchases, which are like a swipe at the mall, for example, cash advances, which is taking cash out of your credit card and balance transfers, which is when you transfer the balance of one credit card onto another. Each of these have their own different interest rates and it really depends on where you're getting your credit card from. They will range anywhere from 19.99% to 25.99%. For cash advances and balance transfers, the interest rate is usually the same and a lot higher than the regular purchases. How is this interest calculated? Let's say that on June the 15th, you decided to buy something worth $1,000. From the day of that purchase, interest will already begin to accumulate. Good news is that this interest will not show up on your balance until after your statement due date. Lenders will do this because they don't want to scare you. They want to put their trust within you that you're going to pay your balance by the end of that due date. So how does this interest calculation really go? Let's just say that your credit card has an interest of the average 19.99%. What you would do is then divide this 19.99% by 365 days. Whatever number that is, that's going to be your daily interest rate. Take your balance of $1,000 and multiply it by that nasty interest rate. You're gonna end up having to pay 55 cents every single day that you don't pay off your balance. It doesn't seem like much, but in a 30 day month, that's an extra $16.50 added onto your balance. If it still doesn't seem like much, contact me and we can arrange something where you can e-transfer me $16.50 every single month. Are we now supposed to have makeup on every- <laughs> Now keep in mind that this is not taking compound interest into consideration. What compound interest is, is basically interest being charged on your interest. For example, instead of being charged a flat out 55 cents every single day, you will be getting charged interest on top of that 55 cents and on top of that balance that you owe them. Another factor that we have to take into consideration is something called a grace period. What these grace periods are is basically an amount of time that the lender will give you before actually having to pay them back. In Canada, the minimum legal requirement for a grace period is 21 days. Another wave of great news. These grace periods are not applicable until your next billing cycle. Assuming that your bill cycle ends on the first of each month, this means that you don't have to pay your lenders until July the 21st. Now the bad news about this is that even if you'd still go with this grace period, it will still show up in your credit file and damage your credit score big time. Keep in mind that grace periods only apply to regular purchases and not balance transfers and cash advances. This is why if you've ever done these two types of transactions before, you'll notice that the interest is right on top of your statement. There are a couple of ways where you can actually avoid paying interest and one way is through minimum payments. What minimum payments are are they're basically what, what the name says but it's basically a small amount of money that you give your lender as assurance telling them that you are gonna pay that amount but at a later date. Another way to avoid paying interest which is probably the most obvious one is just pay your debts on time and just stay within your budget. For example, don't end up spending $3,000 on a laptop when you've got $0 in savings and wouldn't be able to comfortably pay that off before your statement due date. Here's a special note. If you have a streak of not paying off your credit card balances on time, there is a chance that your lenders are going to increase your interest rate. I've seen instances where people will go from 19.99% to 30%. That's an extra 10% that you can keep in your pocket. That's basically how credit card interest is calculated. If I missed out on anything or you have any questions, make sure you leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you guys for watching. This is Tamar Aziz signing out. Peace.